Hey everyone, welcome back for more Temtem. We are in the Meyer Isles. Or Meyer Lees. Apologies if I've been butchering it this whole time. I will have to look up its pronunciation soon. Anyways, there is a volcano near eruption, or is going to erupt, or is erupting, and we have to stop it. We have to save people. That's who we are. We are a damn hero. Bonafide hero. I see you and share breath with you. I see you and share breath with you as well. I see you know our traditions. You are welcome in Nanga. Blessed is the wind that brings you to our shore. That's weird. And I'm kidding. That, thank you. Do not, do not be disrespectful to other people's cultures. Okay? That's where I draw the line. Makamba. I'm contemplating. Infinity. No. You just don't understand the vastness of my soul. Whatever, pal. Okay. Gotta move on. We are going. Wow. Look at this place. There's a lot of NPCs to talk to. So I'm going to talk to them. Another visitor, shed the same breath. How can I help you? That's that's a new line. I, that has to be a new line. I don't remember them ever saying that before. Uh, what's up with the volcano? Oh, don't worry uh, about old Anak, friend. Like any of us, sometimes she sleeps, sometimes she stirs. When she does, she destroys, but she creates too. As long as nobody is foolish enough to get close and get hurt, she goes about her business and so do we. And I'll go back to sleep sooner or later, my friend. Have a seat and a cold drink and enjoy the wait. What she said just sounds like what the people in Pompeii probably said moments before disaster. I'm looking for a man named Ora Wary. Ever heard of him? He rarely leaves the village of Mokapuni. That's where his dojo is located, head west. I'm off to the Kano path then. Okay, cool. So she was just letting me know what Temtems to expect. Fire, and wind, and neutrals, and snorkeling. What is this? What is this? What business is here? What is? Oh, this is a... Uh... Wait, no, actually, I don't know. <laughs> what is this place? Oh, is this to buy, like, furniture? Is this an Ikea? Are we in Ikea right now? Wow. Wow. <laughs> A desk? Painted red desk? Man, you can do a lot. I just, I'm gonna be real, I just don't understand uh, the point in owning a home in, in a game like this. Welcome to Snowcalling Visitor, we share the same breath. Uh, just looking, thanks. Yeah, it's in Ikea to spice up your abode. Fire versus nature is a big debate in Omanesia Outlander. Careful what you say and to whom. The other one being whether Naga is better than Makapuni, of course, is utter nonsense. So, I really like the Capri, I think it's called. It's the, it's the goat, but fire, it's so cool. Speaking of Capri, here we go. Oh, these are, okay, so this is the, <laughs> getting stuck between the stairs here. Okay, so this is the store to buy clothes. Let's look at some outrageous, oh, look, it's, <laughs> it's our captain. Mm. January, I wasn't expecting to find you here. Uh, captain, what are you doing mm. here? What's so strange about it? Can a girl be fashionable while she steers an airship? I mean, you look fashionable already. Um, totally. What about you? Looking for something particular? Um, something rugged, something girly, something elegant. Elegant is what I'm looking for. Invited some fancy party in a tall row. You don't seem the kind of passenger, but I guess you never know. Shut up, Adia. <laughs> you think I respect you? I have 13... Pansan? Wow. Yeah, not buying it. <laughs> Get a mohawk for 10k. Plain t-shirt is 6k. I just want to know. Look, all respect to the Crema developers. I just want to know, like, where do they get these prices from? Because these prices are crazy. These, like, 1,000? Like, wh when do they, like, who who's making the prices for them? It's so, like, outrageous. Like, I guess I would like this one if it was, like, red and blue or whatever. Man, whatever. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I feel cheapskated. But here's the thing, you know, it is an MMORPG. Well, I say that, but that term has really been stretched the distance. This game is an online-based game. So they need to do whatever they can to stretch that that dollar, so to speak, but it just bums me out because, you know, you pay a full price for this thing and you kind of expect there to be a sense of like, I don't know, ease of a, access to accomplishment compared to just buying stuff. Anyway, anyways, Tem Deck Manager, January, you're going to places I see. Yes, Tem Deck Manager, please give me more slots. 180 slots at your disposal. 
Thank you. Superior Amnesia. Okay, so that's where the Temporium is, and we have our shopping district, so to speak, and I guess that's where the dojo is. Let's go ahead and walk around some more. I love this place. It's so interesting. Wow, this house is... Oh, this is not a house. This is like an office. And who are you? Oliana, who might you be? I'm January. That's better. So this is Meyer Isles Engineering, and for the duration of my tenure, I call the shots here. We design, build, maintain, and repair all the airborne archipelago. Let's talk business. To business, then. We are building a new mooring platform for the airship terminal that needs extremely resistant beams. Those beams need to project for many meters without support from below and still manage the stress loads of mooring an airship and moving dozens of passengers plus cargo. Cool, cool. And we're gonna have blueprints. Got it. All right, so that's <laughs> that's what you want from me. Blueprints. They're made to be sp uh, spec allowance, very small for months. Can you deliver them to the guildmaster in Quetzal for the right price? Don't worry, we do have the budget for this. So have these, and careful with them, remember to deliver them to the guildmaster in person. Cool, so more side quests for when we get to Quetzal. Lightning rod, damage taken from electric technique is reduced by 20%. So let me actually equip that to, now here's the thing as well, I won't necessarily be using like Hoichik to fight a electric type because that just seems you know that's its weakness so i don't want to do that however should they fight i wouldn't mind her holding the uh lightning rod all right cool so this is just an engineering place of business cool cool oh what is this i wish it like for when you scan someone in the Tempedia, I wish it sort of highlighted that Temtem, like, high Dodi. And that's another thing that really makes me kind of bummed out as well. Like, if you scan, for example, high Dodi, right? There's no description of it. So it kind of, and I mentioned this in a comment as well, that as much as I enjoy scanning Temtem and, and really filling out that Temtem uh, Tempedia, it almost feels like it's not worth it because while you do scan them, you don't know their details. I mean, you don't even... So, like, here's another thing, too. Like, I wouldn't even mind not knowing their weakness because I guess you could say I don't have it, so there's no way for me to know. But I would, at the very least, like to know a description. Like, I'm sure, like, in the lore of Temtem, people have already described what these Temtems do. And in, in Pokemon, it's, it's like, if you see a new Pokemon, you can read a... Like, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, please do. But I think if you see a new Pokemon and it's entered into your Pokedex, you can read about that Pokemon. That just helps you like figure out like, oh, do I want this Pokemon? Its lore is interesting, yada, yada, yada. You don't really get that in Temtem. And I think that's one of the biggest, at least for me, it's, it's hurdles, is that connection to the Temtems, your relationship with Temtems, rather than just, are they super strong? What are their weaknesses? But like, what do they mean lore-wise to the player? And what do you, in turn, mean to Temtem? You know, like there's an there's another engagement that has to happen in terms of story to really pull players in. I feel, and Temtem is is just missing that. Like it has all the machinations of what makes a good capture creature game, but the the next level is then drawing that connection. Anyways, uh, stranded captain. Oh hey, this is this double like a motel or something? Uh, cool. Whatever. Who are you? Doesn't even have a name. Unimportant captain. What is this? <laughs> this building is massive. It's like a hotel, discotheca. Uh, not so loud. You're spooking my Tataru. Tataru. Wow, it's like a bed and breakfast. Oh, this is the actress. No, it's not. Foxy Tamer. Man, that place is gigantic. Wow. Oh, this is the other side of it. Oh, I exited the other side of it. My goodness. Hi, I'm Melly. You look familiar. Yeah, I get that all the time. No, you're probably thinking about Tarly, my Tarly, my sister. Everyone keeps telling me how we look the same. So you're that dude, the one who's helping her with the book. 
Uh, no, you're, you're mistaken. All denizens look the same to me. You racist piece of- That's a racist. That was racist. Yeah, that's racist. <laughs> no, the, the chat's gone? Oh, that's bummer. I was just trolling. Ugh, see, this is why you don't troll guys in games. This is why you don't have fun. Don't choose fun options because you think they're funny. Oh, Tarly's a travel writer. Right, right. That was like an episode ago and I already forgot her name. Okay, yeah, so is a travel writer here or in the other place? Maybe she's here. Let's cross this way and see if we can find... Oop, a little sticker here. Banapi, nice. Kisapi. Darius. Oh, there's a treasure here. Let's go ahead and grab this. Nope. Yep. Uh, you should wait. What happened? I want to be a teamer like you. So I was clicking uh, a right away to get this treasure box and I stumbled upon this conversation. You should run away and be free. What? <laughs> yes, I'll have many adventures. You have a good day, friend. Peace out. I am a troublemaker. Oh, a 10 card plus a high end version of it. Cool. Is that another? Oh yeah, okay, so that is where the fashion place is, and then what's over here? Do I need directions? Uh, no, I, I just stop talking to me, please. Is this the dojo? Yes, this is the Nanga dojo. Okay, before we go to there, I do want to check out this question mark that's over in this way. Oh, we are here. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, this is the other side, Superior... Okay, we're still in Superior Amnesia. I wanted to head south, so let me head back a little bit. Is this her? Oh, this is her, okay. So this is the travel... I don't know why I'm sitting, sorry about that. Alright, so okay, so what's happening, if you see me randomly sitting in someone's house like this, it's because I'm using, I'm using a controller, and I'm just moving, but whenever you make contact with like objects that you can sit on, you sit. Like me, I'm gonna sit on her leg right now. I'm kidding, could you imagine? Anyways, Tarlay, my correspondent returns. Uh, do you have any hot tips for me to write about? Yeah, I'll describe the Windward Fort. Excellent, this is great stuff, just let me jot it down. And that's it, yes. I can write a big chapter on Denez with all of this. Very good input, thank you. Keep up the good work. O also, you'll want something for your trouble. What was that thing? Oh yes, here, have this. It's a present from a fan, a tamer. I'm not into Temtem myself, but I'm sure it could be handy for you. Lore. Oh, it's just standard Temtem. I was like, does lore bring about rarer Temtem? No, it doesn't. It just brings back. It just lures all the Temtem. You can only do one at a time. So for Denez, I can only talk about one thing. Oh, I should have talked about Zadar. Zadar is great because it's where I grew up and I am super popular because I am the main protagonist. Anyways. So a nature Temtem that I, I really like as well is the Spriol. These guys. Is it Sprioli? Spaghetti? What are these? What are they called? Yeah, Spriol. I like these Temtems. They're so cute. And they evolve into something really cool too. So I, I love them. I love them. And then I love the Capri's. The Banapes, um, but then I also like the Lion Fire Temtems, those are nice as well. Oh, I got- what? They give you clothes in this game? I didn't know they give you clothes, so now I have shorts, or shants, I guess you could say, kind of. I wonder how much dye costs. I bet you- I bet you it costs an arm and a leg. I would wear it, but I would want to dye it, and if I dye it, it like- I, I just know it costs a lot of money. <laughs> I don't have to look it up. I'll, I'll look it up in a little bit, what dying is, um, how much dying will cost and all that stuff. Anyways, let me go onto this dojo. I don't think we can go here just yet, but let's see if we have to activate a quest or anything. Excuse me, to the dojo is closed. Of course it is. Oh, not again. Again? I don't know what you mean by that, but our dojo master's out of town, so it's closed until she comes back. I said I'm going in. Excuse me, tamer. The dojo is is closed. I must see the dojo master now. Tahani's in Den- Oh, this is, this, is this is Tahani's dojo. Yeah, she's definitely not here, and she won't be here for quite some time. Anyways, let's go catch some Temtem, sh uh, shall we? Because I feel like we did a lot of exploring, a lot of talking, a lot of reading. Perhaps I skipped a lot as well, but while we're here- Oh, here we go. We're doing a Temtem battle. We share the same breath. Are you heading to Mokopuni? None of your business. Rude, I'll teach you some manners. You stay away from me. I do not want to engage. I do not want to engage. You do not have my consent to battle. All right, here we go. Let's knock him out. 
Ooh, now we can pull out our, um... Shoot, I forget her name. Uh, now we can pull out Willow. Willow's gonna have a heck of a time here. And then someone who won't take a beating here is probably someone like Clairvo. So let's let's use Clairvo. Rybers. Rybers are super cool too. I, I really like Ryber. Burned. While burned attack and special attack are reduced by 30. And the Temtem also loses... A 1 16th of maximum health points each turn. That's cool. Water blade time. And then we will Psy Surge here. Let's just see. <laughs> Embers. It's foolish, Ryba. Accept your fate. Wow, that was a heck of a move. All right, so I think what we're gonna do, now that we are essentially um, in a fire slash nature based island, we're definitely gonna be switching out Willow's moves. And I think that's what I really, what is that? Details, what are we doing? Tamer Pass, the Tamer Pass rewards you your time spent in Temtem with unique cosmetic rewards. Almost everything you can do in Temtem will grant you a Tamer Pass experience. After completing the campaign, you'll get new challenges every week, which will push you to try all the activities. Make sure to check your Tamer Pass uh, when leveling it up. New cosmetic rewards will be waiting for you to be claimed. What is it? What does that say? Claimed at specific specified levels. Oh, got it. Anyways, like I was saying, I, what I enjoy most about the way that they do uh, techniques, or skills, I, I guess you could say, for Temtems, is that you have learned techniques and they just stay here. Like they don't vanish like in Pokemon. I really like that. Wow, look at that, that's a Luma Hoi chick. Dang, jealous, super jealous. Oh, free Tem organization, is this the place where we make money? Okay, this, let's see how much money, because I forget how much money you make from releasing Temtem. All right, so welcome to free Tem, my friend. Each day we're one step closer to ending Temsploitation. I hear you, sister, preach it. I see you freed Tem, five Temtems since last time. Okay, cool. So leading up to this place, you can free Temtem and it'll still count for you. Good job down with Temsploitation. I hear that. So considering Tem levels and capture ratios, you've earned a reward of 288 Pansun and five Rainbow Feathers. Here you are. Hmm. That ain't shit. <laughs> Very well then, this week uh, we need you to free at least 50 and you'll get 20 uh, tiny crystals as a reward. It seems you haven't freed any Temtem -tem this week, keep it up January. I love this organization. If I could uh, if I could help it, I'd uh, create a bomb and put it in the dojo and say it's from Free Tem and blow up a dojo. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding! Alright, hey look it, there's a Leoli and a... Whatever you call it, a Hidoi Doi. <laughs> a Hidoi? A Hidoi. Hidoi. Anyway, we're capturing both of them. Nice. Love it. Caught a Leoli. And if you were if you were wondering, a Leoli is the evolutionary form of Kaku. Um, oh, speed at 50. Nice. Love that. Love that. Tem deck plays. And so what we're gonna do now, after we catch a Doity, we are going to set free all our Temtem in the Temporium. I don't know if it'll amount to 20, but we will set them free regardless. Electric Synthesize, what is that? When attacked with an electric technique, restores HP instead of receiving damage. Cool, cool, cool. So here's the thing, now that I've captured them, I kind of want to release them because they're forever in our Tem deck now. Um, in terms of their information, so I don't really need to keep them, really. Let's start freeing some Temtem, shall we? <laughs> These poor, frozen in stasis Temtems that have just been chilling. So, if you were wondering, these X are basically Temtems with bad SVs. So there was a time where I was farming them, and I was going through their SVs, and I do have more Temtems of them. For example, I have more scales, I have more Platypets, but... They have good SVs, and I'm holding on to them right now in case I consider breeding them. I don't know if I want to do that. You know, part of me is like, oh, 
don't get too into it. It's, you know, don't get too uh, deep into it. But we'll see. I, I'm I'm leaning on not breeding um, Temtems, but sometimes you just get way, you know, like sometimes you just get way into it and you, you start to consider it, and then you feel like remiss when you let good Temtems go with good SVs. But you know, um, let's see. Let's let go of all these Scourwats. Hold on, I, I didn't mark these, and I should have. Okay, so I released a bunch of Temtem, just reorganized my box a little bit. I'm keeping these in case I'd want to breed. I, I'm not sure. I'm not really leaning toward it right now, but it's hard for me to let them go. You know, when you see stats like this, it's kind of like, oh, do you want to let them go? Anyways, in case you're wondering, no, you don't need to be that invested in order to, you know, pretty much finish the game. You don't need to do any of that. But we released a considerable amount. I was not keeping count. I want to say it was at least 20. Let's go ahead and check with Free Tem and uh, find out how many we actually freed. Oh cool, we freed 33 Tem Tem. Good. So we've earned 1,959. Okay, okay. Nice. Very well then. Uh, you need to free 50 and you'll get 20 Tiny Crystals a reward. So far, you've done 33 this week. Oh, I see. So 50 is Tiny Crystal. 100 is a Wish You Will coin. 150 is a Telemore Hack sta uh, Stamina. And then 200. Interesting. Well, I, I mean, look. I guess that's not too bad, considering that... Temtem cards cost 15 apiece, I think? Let me go ahead and sell the other crystals. So to buy Tem cards is 15. I wonder how much... The average, like I wonder how much one Temtem, one free Temtem would cost in comparison to like one Tem card. <laughs> a part of me really wants to buy this shirt now that I know I can dye it in black. I mean, to be honest, it's not that great of a shirt either, but it is something different. And it's hot out here, you know, you're on an island. It only makes sense. I'm buying it. Oh, that's crazy. This is the first item I've ever bought. I'm so crazy. Okay, if you're watching this right now, do not follow my steps. Do not do what I'm doing and waste money on something stupid like a cosmetic like I just did now. Never do that, okay? I'm just a little uh, loose in the head and I just can't help myself. We're gonna equip that. Then we're gonna go to die and then we're gonna make it black. Oh, it doesn't look that great. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. We, we're committing now. It's we're, com we're committed. There you go. Use die. Use a non-tradable die in this cosmetic will permanently be non-tradable too? Oh, you can trade uh, uh, clothes? Cool. Okay, this is our new character. <laughs> what are the shorts? Oh, the, the problem is with the shorts is that the dye is like, ugh, we don't have any more blacks. Like, and like, what is dye like here? Yeah, I mean, dye is super expensive. You get like the one freebie. There you go. We are styling. We are, <laughs> we have that stupid shirt. Oh, please, once more. Don't do what I do and waste money on silly things like that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and explore now. Let's go ahead and go through here. What's over here? Oh, is this the breeding center? I think it is. Oh, I've been stopped. I'm being assailed! Siosoia, an outsider, you came- you come to steal all our nature temtem and sell them abroad. Not on my watch. Uh, telekinetic shrapnel. Let's go ahead and use- oh, that's right! Sorry, so I I switched to Scaravolt thinking we had a fire technique, but I completely forgot we haven't discovered anything yet, or uh, she hasn't learned a fire technique yet. So <laughs> I should have kept uh, I should have kept Willow for that uh, Venom attack. But anyways, we're gonna Psy Surge, and we're gonna pull out uh, Saku. Grr, you bested me. Best believe it. And I'd do it again too. So let's go ahead and switch out our squad. We're gonna actually use Scaravolt and... Well, no, we, we don't have a fire type. That's the biggest issue. We don't have a fire type. Honestly, we, we might bench to Y, I'm thinking. 
I'm thinking Arby's. <laughs> I'm thinking Tohai. All right, so I'm gonna head back real quick. I stupidly got in a fight with Wild Temtem. I don't know why. I should have just been running. Really dumb on my part. So I have to go back and heal my Temtem. Oh, there's a Temtem. Oh, there's a. <laughs> I was like, there's a Temtem tamer right there, just looking at his map. Oh, Lana, hey. Going for a walk? Yeah, what are you doing here? How strange seeing you out here. Since we're stranded here uh, until the ash cloud clears, I figure I might as well take some fresh air. It's odd not smelling engine oil all day. Yeah, it's it's crazy, you know? You get out of there and your lungs just feel a lot better now that you're not inhaling so much smoke and smog. I, I can imagine, Aklana. Look, I, I gotta go, so... How long do you think it will take? Oh yeah, sure, uh, but before I go, how long do you think it'll take? No idea. Uh, yeah, we're all yeah, we're all limited by the volcano, right? Thought the eruption was recent. This one, yes. The many smaller ones that keep raining ash on my home island, those are routine. The museums don't pay much attention to those because the wind blows on the fumes of off uh, Takuma. Oh, nice chat. Heading off now. See you later at the narwhal. Oh, and before you go, what the heck? Why don't you show me some dojo moves? Haven't temp temped up in a while. Oh yeah, Oklana about that. Um, no, thank you. Ah, that's <laughs> good. I always feel like you should be able to say no. Any oh cool, she has a Bonapi. Love that. Oh Capri, sorry a Capri. A, a Bonapi is. What is a Bonapi to a Capri? Anyways, Water Blade. Then we're going to Thunder Strike Saku. Nice, knocked it out easy. It must be difficult to have like a water and fire Temtem as a as a duo out here because you never know what you might be facing. You should be nicer to me, January. I'm the one keeping the normal afloat, you know. Well, if you want, we can always go out for coffee sometime and talk about it. 186, you broke ass. Never mind. You can't afford me. All right, it's up to this person. Hey there, old man. No, I'm kidding. Fatea, a uh, new challenger. Yes, let's duel. <laughs> let's duel, like master duel, like Yu-Gi-Oh card dueling. Good thing about Willow is that we have toxic affinity with her, so we can use Venomous Claws on Saku and then Thunderstrike on Paharak. Nice. Oh, Willow! Oh, no! Let's do Fierce Claw on Saku, and then DC Beam on Perinat. Nice, nice. Wow, what was that? Oh, Narcoleptic hit. Okay, well, it just put itself to sleep, so good for us. DC Beam the shark, please. Man, the only problem with being cheap, you know, and frugal with your uh, potions and all that, is that you just have to make trips back and forth to the Temporium, you know? Alright, here's the Spreeol. Let's go ahead and... How much does this cost? 27? Oh, perfect! Knock it out. Inner Spirit should do the trick. I love this move so much. Nice. <laughs> yes, I am a good fighter. Sure. Oh, he kind of looks like it. Kind of looks like the out. He's wearing an outfit that I kind of want, actually. Whoa, what's going on here? Yeah, he's, he has that. He has the shorts and the shirt. That was the look I was going for. 
Anyways, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and heal my Temtem, and then you, I will see you in the next episode. We're gonna wrap this thing up now, because I've been playing for about 50 minutes, or at least I have 50 minutes recorded. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me on this one. I know we weren't able to explore too much of the island just yet. We are just starting out, but... I hope you found this uh, episode entertaining, and again, I want to thank you for joining me, and I appreciate your support, and I will see you in the next one, and until then, bye for nows. Hey, one last thing, if you want to support this channel, go ahead and click the link below for our affiliate link to Temtem. I'm kidding, none exist. I don't know nothing about that lifestyle. Whatever y'all got going on because that's not me. I just love saying that because I feel like one of you might actually click the description and get fooled. How dare you think that of me? I'm just a guy. Hey, you know what? Since we're already here, let's just open these boxes, shall we? Uh, Weakener Yuzu, a delicate jewel of some some Paku, some Panky, sorry, some Panky cuisine subtracts 50 TV from random stat over zero. Interesting, a Weakener, huh? Enhancer Avocado Adds 50 TV to a random stat below 500 TV Interesting, cool Up here is the breeding ground Okay, I know I, I signed this out But I, I think I want to at least show you the breeding ground And what that place is like <laughs> I gave you my outro and everything But um, we're not leaving, not yet Oh, okay, there's no breeding center here Is it south of us? What's over here? Oh, there's treasure up here. Three temp card plus. Love that. We share the same breath on learn how you're liking the ions. Okay, there's just... There's nothing really here. Anyways, okay. I will see you in the next episode, folks. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye for nows. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, there's something here. Why can't I... There we go. Lapina Knights. Oh, cool. Oh, and there's more chests here. Noxious bomb. Cool. Toxic damage. Just don't use it in an elevator. Nice, nice. Okay, I think going through there would be pressing us on, and uh, we can save that for the next episode. All right, now I I've kept you here for too long, okay? Click out of the episode, will ya? I'll see you on the next one. Until then... Bye for now.